The 2019 25th Anniversary National Legends Cars Championship is sponsored by 24 Hour Solutions. No problems, only solutions. Hello and a very warm welcome to Brands Hatch for sadly our final programme of the 2019-24 Hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship. Miles Rodman provisionally secured the title yesterday, second, third and fourth place is still up for grabs as is the Masters Championship and the Team Cup as well. Let's go and talk to a few of the drivers before our final race meeting of the year gets underway. LB, a very warm welcome to the championship. Obviously, we saw you in the paddock at Donington Park supporting Daniel, but this is your meet and your first time out. First of all, a bit wet yesterday, so how was that as a debut in Legends Cars? Well, it couldn't have been a more difficult day to learn how to race a Legends car, I have to say, but I really enjoyed it. It was brilliant fun. What would you say you learned? I learned where the limits of the car are, certainly. <laughs> and I learned what I need to do each race, and that's just have fun and improve a little bit if I can. Just take my time. What's your previous experience before coming into Legends in terms of competition? So more recently I've been doing karting in KZ, um, just at Rowra really. Um, but previously, about eight years before that, I was doing hill climbing in a Subaru. But um, that's nothing compared to this, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, obviously being a, a non-championship weekend for you, you can take it easy, but you're going to be in the Rookie Championship next year. Yeah, I'll be in the Rookie Championship, so we'll see how it goes. It's been a, an exciting weekend for me, learning what to do. Connor Mills on the outside of the front row. Paul Simmons is to his inside. Then we've got Nick Bridgman and Dave Ward outside of row two. Dave Ward still looking to maintain that team car championship lead, but he's got arch rival Rick Leggett in the black and white number 26 car right behind. Coming down towards lights out here at Brands Hatch. We are Legends Cars Racing. Great start by Paul Simmons in yellow. Good start in yellow for the, the yellow van of Nathan Anthony around the outside line, but it's Connor Mills side by side with Paul Simmons in car with Marcus Pett really getting stuck in as they go around Paddock Hill Bend thankfully drier conditions today Connor Mills has got the lead Mills leads into Druids Dave Ward on the outside of Nick Bridgman Will Gibson in the mix as well Will busy challenging for fifth position in the championship Dave Ward ahead of him at the moment Rick Leggett is just ahead of Will Gibson as they all come on to Cooper straight for the first time Jack Parker being bump drafted by James Hall Morton and Marcus Pett you just saw was on the inside line there a little bit of a skirmish as they go into McLaren and coming through on the inside line there is Sean Smith in the 21 Mike Schlup in front of us at the moment in the black number three so coming to complete the first lap it's Rob Fountain ahead of Sean Smith as they go across the line the end of lap number one John Mickle the outgoing champion in the chrome number four quick steel car Will Gibson looking to try and make a move here he's got the run I think on Dave Ward as they come up in towards Druids Connor Mill still out front though from Paul Simmons in second place down into our contact Miles Rudman the champion finds himself facing partially the wrong way gets going again Miles is going to be relieved that that didn't happen yesterday it would have added a lot of pressure to him but Miles Rudman the champion involved there in a little bit of a skirmish Mike Schlupp was one of the other cars involved there as well so Mike Schlupp I think possibly out of the race sadly down the inside line of Dave Ward looks Robin Fountain the former champion in the 31 car and there we are Mike Schlupp sadly in the gravel heavily waved yellows up there will that necessitate a safety car or not Will Gibson racing hard if you haven't seen it, watch our previous round, round 13, where Will Gibson in the final 
goes from two thirds of the way back down that might slip very quickly out of his car goes right the way through the field virtually through the field in one corner and uh, read things very well indeed in the wet Connor Mills though is up front had his first win there is Phil Turner from Gerard McCosh Napoleon the pick on the back of the car still helping his efforts and does actually attract a lot of youngsters to support the 69 car guest driver this weekend is Gerard as Nathan Anthony is about to be challenged by John Mickle on the outside line quick still car having a look in van with Nathan side by side he's got the inside run here over John Mickle John leading the Masters Championship this year having won remember five five times champion John Mickle four of them on the bounce but Miles Rubman this year's championship looking to try and climb up through the order John's got the move down the contact by Nathan Anthony on the back end there of Rob Fountain now we would have the safety car is out to my mind a slightly delayed decision because we saw Mike Schlup get out of the car Mike is okay the previous lap was when he was getting out of the car so technically the, the, the damage was negated Mike's car ably recovered by the excellent rescue crews and we're getting ready to go Legends Cars Racing again so the car safely recovered that will prevent any damage further damage to the number three car bad enough that Mike's had to retire from this one Connor Mills gets a very quick drop and red bat superbly great restart by Connor Mills Rick Legger under pressure at the moment from Will Gibson John Mickle now looking at the inside line of Rob Fountain had a little bit of a whack didn't he just before the safety car came out Gibson looking at the shared Ricky Leggett car. Thomas Granger has raced that car as well this year. A few points at the moment down on Dave Ward. It looks like Rick Leggett here is five or six places ahead of Dave Ward. More than that in actual fact as Bridgman is passed by Leggett. Here's the old ball for Nick Bridgman. Gets him back on the repass. Classic Legends repass there by Nick Bridgman. Along the straight we go, two champions together, Rob Fountain. Coincidentally, John Mickle won the championship for the first time the year after Rob Fountain won it. And they're having a great race. There's Sean Smith in 21. Sean currently second in the championship. Looking to defend that from Cy Haraway, who's two cars behind him at the moment there in the 83 car. So Haraway on 5155 points, 5270 for Sean Smith and Sean has got the upper hand in this race at the moment in the 21 car as Nick Bridgman goes around the outside line here of Will Gibson meanwhile up the front we've got a challenge for the lead Paul Simmons is going for the lead as they go into Druid now has Simmons Valley he's got him he's past Connor Mills but Mills will fight back down the hill he can't do it Connor Mills couldn't get back at Paul Simmons Paul incidentally one of the top 10 all-time career point scoring drivers in the National Legends Championship he's actually 10th in the standings and he'll go further up um, assuming that his career in Legends Cars continues. Two, two career wins for him, but 10th in the all-time table. That's out of just under 300 drivers in the National Legends Cars Championship over the years. Looking back at Nick Bridgman, uh, from Nick Bridgman to Cy Haraway, who's getting a little bit close there, and that's because he wants to go past. Didn't get up to bump draft with him, but was closing in. Read that well. Lovely move by Cy Haraway. Textbook stuff down into Paddock Hill Bend. Maybe ran a little bit too much on the curbs, but nice clean move. Cy Haraway executes that one well. He's trying to close down on Will Gibson and, of course, Sean Smith immediately in front. The red and black 21 car is going to be the 83 machine's target because he needs to try and close down on Sean Smith for the championship points to try and get second place in the championship. John Mickle's still in the mix for that as well Nathan Anthony's had a good run and he's still chasing Dave Wall but it's Paul Simmons out front and spin that's LB Charlton who spins on the apex of Druids it looks like LB learning her craft in Legends cars great to welcome her to the championship in car with Marcus Pett Marcus chasing Jack Parker Jack another driver who has uh, after missing a couple of events a couple of rounds made it up into the top 10 of the championship so a good recovery from him a bit of a sideways motion there from Robin Fountain Marcus Pett now working with Jack Parker to go up the inside line but this is the last lap 
and it could go any way of these five but it's Paul Simmons out front he's never won on his home track here at Brands Hatch comes from Lingfield in Surrey he's got another local driver Connor Mills right with him Sean Smith is in third place the battle along the straight now Connor Mills looks down the inside line just pulls off line momentarily don't think it's got enough grunt at the minute or enough of a run to go through and can Paul Simmons hold his nerve in yellow the 51 car looking for his first win outside of Donington where he's had two career wins and Simmons is in front Connor Mills looking to try and close down but Simmons has got a great run here down towards the flag Sean Smith's going to challenge for second but Paul Simmons takes the win Connor Mills second Sean Smith in third great end to our first race of the final round of the season Paul Simmons is going to be delighted with that the 51 car takes a second race victory of the season that was hard earned Connor Mills second from Sean Smith and Cy Haraway Rick Leggett fifth Will Gibson six from John Mickle, Nick Bridgman, Dave Ward and Nathan Anthony completing the top 10. 11th went to Jack Parker. Then it was Miles Rudman, good recovery. Marcus Pett next from Rob Fountain and James Hall Morton, Neil Shenton, Mark Beatty 17th from John Critchlow and Claude Watain. Chris Needham in 20th from Glenn Burtonshaw. Eduardo Gago Minos in 22nd from Gerard McCosh, John T. Norman, Phil Turner, James Newbury, LB Charlton 27th and Lenny Woodcock in 28th. Fastest lap to Miles Rudman on his recovery. Paul Simmons, superb win, well done. A great race with Connor and your first win at Brands too. It is, yeah, very impressed with that. Really happy with the car, went really well. Shame the pace uh, safety car came out. Uh, I just managed to pit Connor just before the safety car came out, so I let him have it back, so I weren't too sure whether I was past him in time, so I thought I'll fight him a little bit later in the race. Been a good season so far for you? Yeah, been a really good season, yeah. I think it's my seventh podium this year. Connor, not a bad weekend for you, win yesterday and uh, a P2 here, but not happy with the power? No, no, we've, uh, we're struggling big time in the straight line, um, which is making it really hard. I mean, round the back is OK. I can get away with it by going in hard on the corner and getting a better exit. Um, but down the, down the main straight, it's just I uh, get eaten alive. So unless I've got someone pushing me, um, which Paul, Paul, fair play to him, he done me, he got past and managed to drive OK. I just couldn't get on the back of him. Um, but yeah, we need to have a look at it and get it sorted. And, we should be a lot better. Sean, great result, podium, really good for second place in the championship because you were obviously ahead of Cy Haraway there as well. Yeah, that's it, I think size, size third, John's fourth, so that race it was uh, try and keep ahead of them, um, which we did, but we wanted to go for the win, a couple more laps and uh, we would have been there, I think. Ricky Leggett, great to see you back and uh, the, the team championship a possibility for you guys? Yeah, it's very close. I think we were leading it up till yesterday. But unfortunately Tom had a disaster day yesterday with no grip at all. So I think they edged in front. So the battle's on today to try and clinch it. So all the pressure's on your shoulders against Dave Ward? Yeah, it's no pressure though. Um, I love Dave Ward and Mike Brawner. They're lovely guys. Uh, so whatever happens, happens. You know, We'll just keep it firm but fair. How was your first race? Yeah, straight on it. Um, started sixth, I believe. Finished fifth. A um, couple of overtakes, got overtaken. Yeah, all good. All good. I'm delighted to welcome two more new drivers to Legends Cars, Florian and Eduardo. Florian, first of all, you, you raced yesterday in the wet. How, how did you find your first Legends Cars meeting? Yeah, that was uh, really interesting. The wet was not the best condition, I guess, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, there are two good races for the first race. But the third one I crashed, unfortunately. Got a little little bit too confident and uh, on the first lap uh, grabbed some slippery surface of the track and went out. Eduardo, you've got a little bit of racing experience in Clio's out in Spain. Clio Cab in Spain, yeah. Uh, it's a bit different, but uh, yeah, it give me something, uh, rules and stuff, so yeah, it's good. How was your, how's your first couple of races in this? You obviously like the car because you're still smiling. Well. Uh, yesterday I wasn't smiling when I saw when I saw him crashing, but yeah, it's, it's my first one. So I did uh, like 40 minutes uh, training on Friday, and today is the first race. Lucky we start on dry, no, not now. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's a really fun car. I give me some much different things uh, from the Clio. Uh, yeah, still funny. Yeah, really funny.
penultimate race of the 2019-24 hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship and Jack Parker is on the front row of the grid. You'd be brave to bet against Jack Parker from there. John T. Norman to his outside. Had a horrendous day yesterday, did John T. Quick start by Jack Parker. Breaking ranks to the outside line is Cy Haraway. Arch Championship rival as was Miles Rudman to the inside line. In car with Nick Bridgman or on board with Nick Bridgman. Through Paddock, a very busy. There's the race one winner. Paul Simmons in the mix as well. Nathan Anthony up into second. Cy Haraway looking around the outside line. Haraway still challenging for second position in the championship. And nice that we've got him and Sean Smith together. We can watch the battle for second in the championship unfold between those two. The 83 car, third in the standings at the moment. The red and black 21 is currently second in the championship. In car with Nathan Anthony. Or in van, we should say now, as Haraway challenges for the lead. Jack Parker out front. Up into clearways, Will Gibson looks on the outside line. Will is in fifth position in the standings, actually edged clear of Marcus Pett in race number one. John T. Norman will be relieved to have uh, got some laps under his belt. Passed there on the inside by Rick Leggett, the outside by James Hall Morton, who won here earlier on in the year, the young Yorkshireman. Looking to challenge well. Rick Leggett running well. Good fifth position for him in race number one. Overlooked that a little bit. Apologies, Rick, but a good drive to get up towards the lead in the team car championship and it's Cy Haraway the race leader Jack Parker looking a little bit out of sorts here I've got to say I thought he was going to walk away from the front but it's Cy Haraway leading the van of Nathan Anthony second squabble on four way battle for third place Sean Smith works with Miles Rudman they pass Jack Parker John Mickel in the mix as well quite a few championships between that lot but it's Cy Haraway the ex-rally driver and brisker Formula 2 driver who leads them Second season in National Legends Cars for Cy. This is Miles Rudman's third year. And Cy will be looking to emulate Miles next year, grab the championship outright on a third season in the class, should he choose to do that. We hope that he and his family will be back with all of our drivers because it is such a close competitive field. In car with Marcus Pett looking at Jack Parker going up the hill under the Brands Hatch Bridge, Haraway still there, Miles Rudman looks around the outside line here of Nathan Anthony. Miles Rudman looking to bag a 17th win of the year, he's had 16 so far, two non-finishes, gets past Nathan Anthony, Sean Smith's going to go through as well, Nathan was forced a little bit wide there, Sean Smith goes through, John Nickel following through as well, John never won to lose the opportunity to grab a place which he does, safely through on the inside line, Jack Parker following him. Nathan Anthony, Marcus Pett, Will Gibson, Gibson and Pett dicing for fifth in the championship. Marcus lost a wee bit of ground in race number one. And Will is right with him here, consolidating that fifth place in the standings. Cross the line they go again, Haraway still leading, but the bump drafting works between Sean Smith and Miles Rudman. Rudman and Smith slingshot past on the inside line of Cy Haraway. Haraway down to third, Miles Rudman the champion. I tell you what, he's lost none of his appetite for winning races despite having sewn up the championship. And he leads from Sean Smith, we've got the top three drivers in the championship all together, which is absolutely superb. Car with Will Gibson, another great move there down the inside line of Nathan Anthony, Marcus Pett, Paul Simmons, Robin Fountain working his way through as well. Robin saying to me that he felt the championship a lot. Oh, big sideways moment there from Sean Smith. Going back to Robin Fountain, he was telling me that he's finding the championship more competitive than it was, he reckons, when he won it. But, uh, you know, coming back after 18 years away is... Uh, a courageous thing to do and uh, John Mickle goes to the outside line of Cy Haraway challenging for third place but Cy's having none of it dives back up the inside line Jack Parker wants to re-engage with him as well Will Gibson's behind this battle as well John's going to have a look up the inside line in silver Haraway and Mickle a little bit of a wobble there for Cy Haraway coming up into Druids and Jack Parker saw that he's going to nip through on the inside line but John Mickle is up to third it's Miles Rudman, the leader. We've actually got the top two drivers in the championship, first and second. John Nickel, who's fourth in the standings at the moment, is in third. Cy Haraway next up. Then Jack Parker. Bill Reid having a dice with Glenn Burton, sure, in 72. Gerald McCosh right behind as well. Meanwhile, mid-order, Rick Leggett coming under pressure from James Hall Morton in the 32 car. Dave Ward 
keeping Rick Legger in his sights, and that's significant for the Team Car Championship. As across the line go our two race leaders once again, Paul Simmons really on form today, looks to the outside line of the other yellow fella, that is Nathan Anthony, doesn't work on the outside, might go for the cut back on the inside as they come down through Paddock. No, he just uh, decides to stay where he is, but it's Rudman out front. And Sean Smith busy trying to pile the pressure on in the 21 car. Smith here is going to maybe edge a, another 20 or possibly 30 points clear of Cy Haraway if things stay like this for second position in the championship. Marcus Pett trying to get himself on the back end of Paul Simmons. Here we go in-car shot of Marcus trying to get further up towards the front and get, get as close as he can to Will Gibson that's the man he's dicing with in the championship Bill Reid and Gerard having a, a good one and Gerard looks up the inside line he's going to pass Bill Reid I think LB Charlton busy challenging as well as Jack Parker now goes to the outside line side by side with Cy Haraway across the line Parker just in front there he's going to be the try and take the battle up to John Mickle in car with Will Gibson who's going to be next to have a look at Cy Haraway those two had some very close finishes at Pembrey our previous meeting with the quick steel car I think of John Mickle trying to close down on the race leaders at the moment as Will Gibson goes through Cy Haraway maybe like Connor Mills perhaps not as happy with his top end grunt this weekend had some quick races he's won plenty of races very nearly got the hat trick he did on the road in the first of our two days racing at Pembrey in, in the wet and some super driving from him over the course of that weekend there's Neil Shenton now up ahead of James Hall Morton both drivers very rooted in and Elby has a, a little moment in the 15 car recovers very quickly that's James Newbury flying past on the outside line as Paul Simmons goes side by side again with Nathan Anthony Anthony on the inside line Simmons working the outside of Paddock Hill Benman gets the job done super move there by Paul Simmons Meanwhile, Miles Rubman's still up front, under pressure from Sean Smith. They could probably do with a bit more bump drafting with each other, try and pull away from the two chasers who are right behind them. John Mickle, not that far behind. If he works with Jack Parker, could close in. Will Gibson and Cy Haraway would probably do well to work with each other in terms of bump drafting. Glenn Burton sure in the 72, another long-term legends racer. Haven't seen enough of him recently, to be perfectly honest, but still owns his car races in Catrums as well, having a good dice with Gerard Bacosh. Here's Marcus Pett, a bit of a wild moment from him, grabs control of it though, Jack Parker and John Mickle across the line, they go once again, Parker's going to have a look on the outside line, having done a bit of bump drafting, is that getting him any closer to the leaders though? Let's have a look, on board with Will Gibson, fifth position, climbing up, 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 up the hill under the Burton Tower Bridge, still Sean Smith and Miles Rudman, one and two, Sean will try to grab the win if he can, an extra set of points. At the moment, he's ahead of Cy Haraway by about 40 points in this race. Marcus Pett, Nathan Anthony still racing hard. Here's Marcus coming along, Cooper straight into Surtees. It's definitely getting closer for the lead here. John Mickle and Jack Parker are closing in. We're going to have another close finish, I reckon, here. And we've had so many close finishes this year in the Legends Cars Championship. Virtually every race at Snetterton finished side by side. But the chequered flag as across the line they go and onto the last lap. And Sean Smith's got the lead now from Miles Rubber. John Mickles in the mix as well. Jack Parker's there. And Sean Smith plays, plays his card, goes ac across the line on the outside into the lead. We're closing up on a little bit of traffic. But it's Sean Smith up front. Miles Rubber gets passed by outgoing champion John Mickle. Mickle into second. Miles Rubman down to third, he's got a squabble with Jack Parker, Jack looking on the outside line in the yellow and blue, but it's Sean Smith out front, John Mickle in the quick steel car second, and then Miles Rubman third, Jack Parker in fourth place, now the traffic could come into play here with left and right, Sean Smith goes to the outside line initially, he's looking on the inside, and John Mickle sees the gap on the outside line! Sean Smith behind Lenny Woodcock and John Mickle's got the outside line of the lead and the run down to the flag. Miles Rubman's having a look, Lenny Woodcock on the inside line and it's going to be John Mickle who takes the win, the outgoing champion. A 134th career win for Mickle, Sean Smith second, Miles Rubman third and John Mickle read the traffic superbly there to take a win here at Brands Hatch. Mickle the winner.
Goodness me, Sean Smith second, Miles Rudman in third. What a fantastic race two here at Brands Hatch, and we'll catch up with the winners in just a moment. John Mickle taking the win from Sean Smith and Miles Rudman. Jack Parker fourth from Cy Haraway. Will Gibson sixth. The man who got the fastest lap, Paul Simmons, was seventh from Nathan Anthony and Marcus Pett. Neil Shenton completing the top ten. Ricky Leggert keeps the team cup alive. He's 11th from James Hallmort and Dave Ward next from Chris Needham and Nick Bridgman. Claude Wattain 16th from Mark Beach and John Critchlow. Glenn Burtonshaw got the better of Gerard McCosh for 19th place. 21st going to Robin Fountain from Bill Reid. Eduardo Gago Munoz next from Mike Schluck, Phil Turner, LB Charlton, James Newbury and Lenny Woodcock in 28th. John, congratulations, a fine win, some real racecraft there. Yeah, it was a bit. Uh, we, as I said, uh, we were definitely the quickest car out there. I think we were the third or fourth quickest car out there. But uh, the gaps opened for us. Um, Sean got the uh, 21 car, got balked by a back marker and uh, we took advantage and went around the outside of the pair of them, which is uh, nice to have a good bit of fortune for change. For me, having been brought up on short oval racing, I saw so many drivers learning about racecraft and back markers, you know, on a tight track because you're going to come off them, you're going to come up on them more often. Is that the case there? Yeah, I mean, when I was back in my old days and back in my youth, back on the ovals, uh, we used to race at Skegness some nights we might have 60 cars on the grid, 70 cars maybe, on a Wednesday night. And we used to get through them in 15 laps. So. It's a bit different here, but it's the same sort of craft, what you're saying, and we just got to pick your way through and uh, try to read the race and try to read the next bend, and that's an, what old head uh, what, that's what old head does for you. Sean, congratulations, uh, another podium, and uh, I think that makes you top point score on the day, so you'll be off the back and it's a big grid. Yeah, that's it, I didn't know that till you told me, so, so that's good, but yeah, I think it'll be off the back, um, come through as far as we can, and work with people around us. Second in the championship looks relatively safe. Obviously, you've got to get the car home in the final race of the weekend. But going back to the race you just had, you and John, absolute ding dong, and it could have gone either way. Yeah, that was it. I was sat behind Miles. I was trying to get away with him working well. Um, I knew I was quicker in certain places, really. Just uh, made the move on the last lap, just didn't account for back markers, unfortunately. So, Miles, we spoke to you earlier on, the obviously championship all done and dusted, but you're still going out there and racing hard. And it looked like a win at one point, but that's the way of Legends racing. It just changed the round towards the end. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, as you say, I, I thought I got I thought I thought got it, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, Sean got me on the last lap round the outside, down the straight. Just had a bit more pace than I did. Um, and it compromised my position because I went in a bit deep to Paddock and uh, John got up the inside as well. But uh, fortunately for Sean, the bat markers played a, a big part in it as well, and uh, John chose uh, the outside line, which is the right place to go, and uh, got the win, but yeah, fair play to him. Phil, catching up with you here in Park Fermo, is it a, a, a regular check, or...? So yeah, they, they're obviously they pull pull the top three and then a selection of others. So uh, it was obviously just my turn, luck of the draw, I guess. But as far as I know, we got through without any problems, which is the main thing. Oh, I'm sure that's right. How's the season been for you? Because here we are we're at Brands Hatch, last race of the year, big crowd again as ever for this this fantastic meeting. Uh, but time for reflection and looking back on how the season's gone. Yeah, you know, it's been a really, obviously, second season, and it's been really good. We've made some huge progresses, which is nice. I've made some some big progresses as a driver. Um, the, the paddock is still as friendly as ever, which is nice. Uh, I think it's been a really good season. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I think everybody else has. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's been slightly different on last year and different for everybody, I think. But, um, but yeah, really, really good season. A lot learned. Marcus, uh, race two just done. How have the two races so far been for you today? Yeah, they've been uh, fairly steady, to be fair. We've had um, a good pace. I think it was one of the quickest at an early stage in the first race. And just um, typical of the racing, probably at Brands Hatch, just trying to come through during the race after the first couple of laps isn't often the easiest. But yeah, we picked off a couple of places in that last race and two, um, two solid finishes. So we'll see how we can do in the final coming up in a, in a bit. Jack, you've been there or thereabouts with the results, but not quite at the sharp end. And I feel a little bit guilty because before I came here today, I checked up on a few statistics and I think you're two away from your 100th podium. And I was confident you were going to get that today, but it doesn't seem to be. 
No, uh, with the results that we had yesterday, I was uh, confident uh, that we'd be up the top three again as well. But uh, it's not to be. We've uh, struggled with the uh, power today. Um, we had a few problems in the first race, and we had the exhaust come off in the uh, last race. So, uh, but it was a good battle in the last race that we had. Um, managed to achieve fourth in the end. So yeah, good run. It's a shame that I couldn't get the 100 podium. So yeah. The last race of the 2019 season, Mike Schlupp on his own on the front row of the grip with Phil Turner and Robin Fountain alongside James Hall Morton and Marcus Pett are on row three. Watch for lights out, up to the line, lights out. We're Legends Cars racing for the last time. Robin Fountain challenging Mike Schlupp. Nathan Anthony looking round the outside line. Four wide as they go into Paddock. Will Gibson, can he do his party piece here of going into the lead from a fair way back? Oh, get a little bit of a tap on the back end of Dave Ward who gyrates in the number five car. And he sees Rick Leggett go past him. That could be the team championship going the way of Rick Leggett now as they come out of Druids. Down into Graham Hill for the first time. It's Robin Fountain leading. Marcus Pett second. Mike Schlupp third. Then Nathan Anthony. Fifth place side by side. Jack Parker. Rick Leggett's gone wide as well. Both of the leading team car championship contenders have had moments. And Rick Leggett will find himself down behind Dave Ward. Needless to say, it's very, very slippery out here at Brands Hatch. They had an extra sighting lap just to make sure that they were aware of where the water was lying. But you can see how much spray is everybody going wide, trying to find the grip on the outside line. In van with Nathan Anthony, changed for the lead. Marcus Pett round the outside line. Anthony being squeezed just a little bit there. The corner tightened up. There was no malice in that move at all from the car on the inside line. As John Mickle looks to try and close down on Connor Mills. Now we've got Rob Fountain, who Robin Fountain over on the gravel, the former champion keeping it going, doing what a former champion would do, which is to keep the car going in a straight line, keep the momentum going and rejoin. He knows he's being hammered for places, but he will rejoin the track, and that's the significant thing for the man from Lincolnshire. Marcus Pett now the leader. Jack Parker in second place. Miles Rudman not starting as far back as we're used to seeing him do in the third race of the meeting. Remember, he had a spin in race number one, and therefore started a little bit nearer the front and he's making the most of that now because he's up into second place Pet leads, Rudman second Anthony third Mills is fourth, Will Gibson then John Mickle followed by Mike Schlupp still up with the front runners as well in the number three car, he's on the inside line of Cy Haraway Cy the black car just coming into shot chasing John Mickle with the quick steel car, couldn't see John on the top step of the podium with that very well thought out race win James Newbury about to be passed by Jack Parker and Jack exploring the outside line again for a little bit more grip heads through Clark Curve onto the Brabham straight a little bit further back Jack here a little bit disappointed with oh, two cars off that's LB Charlton the second of the white cars the first of which is Eduardo Gago Munoz coincidentally in the same place where Eduardo's car sharer Florian Robin went off in, in the little clip that we saw earlier on in the programme uh, I don't think any damage done to Eduardo's car. But uh, good to see him getting back. Him and LB will recover and regroup as we watch Neil Shenton chasing James Hall Morton, both drivers with heritage in Brisker Formula One racing. James through his dad, Neil on his own by right as Cy Haraway across the grass rejoins just behind John Mickle. That is how slippery it is out there, and every driver going up to the limit in that case Cy Haraway may be going a, a little bit further but of course all that in the effort to try and gain places which is what Miles Rudman is doing now on the inside line to take the lead from Marcus Pett Rudman the champion goes through he's not content to sit on his laurels he wants another race win as Jack Parker has another moment Parker on the grass in the 13 car will try and rejoin I need to correct myself for a statistic I gave you earlier on I said Miles Rudman's 17th win of the season it's a uh, a 17th career win he's looking for here so and he's out front at the moment and again one would be brave to bet against Miles Rubman taking a win but we've got a long way to go he's got some very quick drivers behind him 
including Connor Mills, who wants to just try and open that up by nipping through on the inside line of Marcus Peck. Is he going to be able to do it through Surtees? No, he can't. Miles Rudman makes a little mistake as well, and John Bickle goes wide. Did exactly what Cy Haraway did on the, uh, was it two laps ago? And rejoins behind Cy Haraway. Those two having a very close battle indeed. So we've seen Rudman, Haraway, Robin Fountain off, seeing lots of uh, champions, former champions having moments. Robin Fountain back on track. Meanwhile, Will Gibson side by side with Nathan Anthony goes through, takes fourth position. Meanwhile, up into second now. Connor Mills is into second place ahead of Marcus Pett. Nathan, I thought, might want to have a look up the inside line, having lost out to Will Gibson. Will now going to the inside on the way up towards Druids and the van will challenge again for fifth the top five altogether still headed by Miles Rudman Connor Mills will maybe with that slightly underpowered engine feel that the wet is negating that um, but it, in truth the wind could go any way of the top five and indeed any of the chasers who if they work together could well close up but you can see there is a gap back at the moment to Cy Haraway in sixth place and John Mickle in seventh through the through clear ways they go very wide line there again just looking for the grip on the outside line most of them finding that as Nathan Anthony goes through we've got a battle for Will Gibson now passing Marcus Pett that underlines the challenge for fifth in the standings Marcus Pett through, uh, is passed by Will Gibson Nathan Anthony trying to close up and Connor Mills has got the lead Mills takes the lead but back on the inside line now comes Miles Rudman Rudman lost the lead but gets it back classic legends racing again and Miles Rudman the champion wants to grab another win it's going to close up the top five again Haraway and Mickle still trying to close in six and uh, in sixth and seventh positions as the race leaders go through Graham Hill Bend along Cooper Strait once again. Fascinating race here. Nathan Anthony's view coming up into Surtees, the left-hander. Don't grab too much curb in these weathers, that could really throw things off. Connor Mills wants to try and get the lead back though in the 82 car and it's still Miles Rudman out front going wide. They're all really pretty much following each other down to tick off another lap Rudman with the fastest lap at the moment as Chris Needham closes down on Nick Bridgman with John Critchlow to his inside line making a challenge in the 86 it's a little bit more settled now as they go up towards Druids and Miles Rudman not really under too much pressure from Connor Mills. Connor does close under breaking into Druids, but Miles looking for a win. It would be appropriate for him to end the championship year with the win. He secured the championship at the end of round 13 with the race win as we watch Nathan Anthony still trying to close in on Marcus Pett in the 79 car. Lots of action now. They start to get into a bit of traffic. LB Charlton, after her moment earlier on, is on the inside line. And that's good driving because the outside line is the racing line that those guys want, as we've seen. So LB is passed. And it does actually give Connor Mills his closing up on the race leader. There is Eduardo as well being passed on the inside line. Great driving from the two newcomers to Legends cars. It gets a little bit frantic, though, with some of the other machines. Very busy, and Connor Mills is back through into the lead. Mills leads, but Rudman's going to do the same thing as he did before. Looks down the inside line. No, he can't quite do it. Connor Mills is wise to that this time. Goes across, grabs the inside line, then comes back out to get some um, an entry line into Druids, but just left a gap there for Rudman to come back through. So he was defensive initially, but wanted to get a run through Druids. That's the way it looked, and drops to second position again. So Miles Rudman is again the race leader and Connor Mills has got to work out A where he can get past again and B if he can make it stick up to the line so it could be about timing for Connor Mills and also Will Gibson who's in third place and Will will be determined to grab a win who knows we might even get the bobble hat out again Nick Bridgman up ahead of John Critchlow with the 85 car the uh, driver joining the championship next year, Mark Beattie, making very good progress through the field here. Beattie past Critchlow, challenging Nick Bridgman down the inside line. 
Ben Birchshaw in the 72 car in the mix as well. Gerald McCosh followed by Dave Ward. And Nick Bridgman getting a good run in the 68 machine. As Mark Beattie looks up the inside line. And say Mark and John having a very good run through the field here in these wet conditions. The Scottish Championship regulars, of course, will be used to horizontal rain every time they race at Knock Hill. Apologies to, to any Scots that I've offended from saying that, but if you've ever been to Knock Hill, you know to expect that a lot of the time. So BT ahead of Bridgman. Let's see what Nick can do. And again, you can see Nick actually taking a tight line into Druity. I thought he was going to do a Connor Mills and maybe just look... Oh, big sideways moment for Miles Rudman. The pressure is on. Rudman very definitely not taking things easy out there. Running hard into McLaren corner getting it crossed up and Connor Mills will see that and will maintain the pressure in the 82 car that's Phil Turner that they're closing in on now in the 24 hour solutions car as gyration for James Hall Morton onto the grass the first steel 32 car gets back on track Glenn Burtonshaw now looking on the inside line of Nick Bridgman Science pass him does the vegetarian shoes back 72 machine uh, Nick will repay the compliment here. Glenn, long-term Legends driver, second-generation racing driver as well. But back with the race leader, Miles Rudman, he's going to be very much aware of where the limit is in this car. It's been a super year for Miles and his other half. They've uh, had a baby, so Miles has become a, a dad this year, winning the championship. What a, what a season, what a year they've had. And now leading this one as Connor Mills turn this time to make a little mistake and Will Gibson's going to have a slice of that. Can he get through on the inside line? No, he can't. Good recovery, very good recovery indeed by Connor Mills. And you know, you can make mistakes. If you're pushing the car to the limit, you're going to. The car's going to get away from you, but it's how you handle those. And Connor Mills did superbly there. Look how clear the top three are. Miles Rubman's got a little bit of a lead now as Will Gibson challenges for second. Gibson, we know he's quick in the dry. We know he's super quick in the wet as well. From round 13's coverage, looks on the inside line. This could well have been the battle for the championship lead because the start of the season, we'd have said Connor Mills would be in with a chance. Will Gibson would have been as well. And I dare say will be next season for 2020 towards Druids. Bill Reid's got a problem. Shame for Bill. Been a dogged campaigner this year, Bill Reid, in the 67 car. Hopefully he'll get it going. John Mickle, meanwhile, dicing hard with Marcus Pett. Marcus has dropped back a, a tad and he's got Sean Smith. Sean, two, two cars between himself and Cy Haraway. That's not going to be enough for either Cy or John Mickle to rest second position in the championship from Sean Smith. So Sean looking safe in the silver medal position if we can call it that and John still up ahead of Marcus Pett here comes Sean though wants to have a look score a few more points and edge his way further towards the top end of the field if he possibly can Sean looks on the inside line don't think maybe he's got enough of a run as we look back from Nick Bridgman this is what we should have been looking back at Eduardo about to be passed by Glenn Burtonshaw. And there's Dave Ward in the number five car. We'll wrap up the team championship with Mike Borner beating Ricky Leggett and Thomas Granger. Who, and remember, Tom Granger took an outright win, outright race win at Brands Hatch. Good racing here, though, between Dave Ward and James Hall Morton. Jack Parker went wide there, but gets it back on track. Dave Ward just outside the top 10 those guys this one looking relatively settled for Rudman fastest lap and lead Connor Mills trying everything he can throwing everything at the car again has a little sideways moment but Will Gibson back in third Nathan Anthony is behind them in the van in fourth place it's good to see Nathan grabbing a podium at Pembrey and he's not that far away from one here either in car again with Marcus Pett working hard chasing John Mickle, John about to see if he can pass Cy Haraway closing up as they go along the straight but I think Cy will maintain the advantage to go into Paddock Hill Bend, they're dicing for fifth place, John has a look down the inside line a little bit further back, Jack Parker and company all racing hard, John Critchlow at the back chasing James Hall Morton, Jack Parker right the way around the outside of Glenn Burtonshaw there is that little bit more grip isn't there by going wider, and Jack Parker's got that sussed out Dave Ward about to pass James Hall Morton which he does the number five car passing the 32 and now to the inside line of Nick Bridgman goes the 13 car but Nick again crossed the line in last year's championship runner-up car 
Can't quite fend off Jack Parker, so Jack nips through on the inside line. He's going to be dicing for a top ten here. Jack Parker by the end of the race. Meanwhile, Miles Rudman still out front, coming through Clark Curve onto the Brabham Straight. A little bit further back. John Bickle still chasing Cy Haraway. Robin Fountain, who is in the 31 car running in 20th place. Marcus Pett crosses the line now. You can see masses of crowd here, huge crowd for the end of season firework display and the truck racing which the Legends cars enjoy racing with throughout the year. But it's Miles Rudman looking for a 17th career win. He is clear of Connor Mills in second, Will Gibson is third and barring any problems, they all know what the track's like now. This is the 14th lap of the race. Barring any problems, Miles is going to take a career 17th win to wrap up a superb championship year for him. The Midlander goes past James Newbury. He's got a, a good lead here, about three seconds at the moment over Connor Mills. Will Gibson's trying to close in. But here comes Miles Rudman. Again, that wide line through clearways and fitting the, this year's champion perhaps then should win the final race of the season. Rudman, the blue flag is waved for the drivers ahead of him and Rudman will take the chequered flag. Now, a win, another win for the champion. Second place will go to Connor Mills. Will Gibson in third. Here is the battle for fifth place. Coming through clearways and Cy Haraway tags John Mickle and Sean Smith's out as well. Drama on the final bend between two of the key championship protagonists, but it takes nothing away from Miles Rudman, who grabs the final race win of the season. The champion wins the last race of the year. Miles Rudman, the winner from Connor Mills and Will Gibson. Nathan Anthony, fourth. Marcus Pett in fifth from Neil Shenton. Chris Needham from the back is seventh from Claude Wattain and Mark Beatty. Mike Schlurp gets tenth in the number three car. Eleventh going to Jack Parker from John Critchlow and Dave Ward. Then it was James Hall, Morton and Glenn Burton, Shaw 15th. Nick Bridgman 16th from Gerard McCosh and Sean Smith who recovered. Paul Simmons 19th. Rob Fountain completing the top 20 from Rick Leggett. Phil Turner, Eduardo Gago Menez, then Bill Reid, Elby Charlton in 25th ahead of James Newbury. Fastest lap going to the race winner appropriately and that was Miles Rudman. Cars into Park Ferme for the last time in 2019. Let's hear from our top three. Connor, second place in the race. Great drive from you, but what happened? I think the uh, the engine's gone over. As we went over the line, as I pulled fifth gear, I heard a pop and then no power. So lucky it went on the very last lap coming down the straight. Um, but yeah, no, other, other than that, it was a good race. Will, we always seem to cop an interview with you the last race of the year. It's a, a pleasing habit to be sure. Uh, great podium, good way to end the season. It's a shame we couldn't repeat last year and the following year, but yeah, finishing third's fantastic. Um, it's going to be close, I think, for second and third in the championship. So yeah, we were struggling a bit in the dry today, but that was a fantastic last race. Well, how appropriate is it that our last interview of the programme and indeed the season is this year's champion who takes another win? Three seconds for the last race. You know, the pressure wasn't on you, but again, you've, you've delivered another fantastic race win. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it was uh, it's real tricky conditions. Um, it was a great race, um, yeah, it was just a case of getting my head down really and keeping it on the track and, and yeah, it was, it's a good way to end the season like you say. So what about the overall round win? The top point scorer on the day was Will Gibson, congratulations to him. Miles Rudman second from Sean Smith, Paul Simmons in fourth and a tie for fifth between Nathan Anthony and Jack Parker, Connor Mills, John Mickle, Marcus Pett and Cy Haraway completing the top 10 on the day. The overall championship at the end of the season looks like this. Miles Rudman, the champion. Sean Smith, second from Cy Haraway. Masters champion, John Mickle. Team champions, Dave Ward and Mike Borner. Well, that's the conclusion of the 2019 24-hour solutions Legends Cars National Championship. What a humdinger of a championship we've had in the 25th anniversary year. A big thank you to everyone who supported the championship and a massive congratulations to Miles Rodman, our series champion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next year.